is KCAL News, Los Angeles. Now at five, River Rescue's piers washed away and drivers stuck in the floodwaters. Tonight, the bomb cyclone has moved on, but not before packing a serious punch. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us on KCAL News at 5 on CBS Los Angeles. I'm Pat Harvey. And I'm Jeff Vaughn. We're also streaming live on CBS News Los Angeles. Let's begin tonight with a live look at those conditions right now. A calm night in downtown and all clear on the radar. This after a relentless storm hit the Southland. And throughout the overnight hours and into the morning, we saw people and animals pulled from rivers, streets, flooded, trees falling on the cars and some major damage along the coast. And we have live team coverage on the storm aftermath and the cleanup. But first, let's get to some breaking news with assignment editor Mike Rogers on the desk. Mike? Hi, Pat and Jeff. Yeah, so we've got Sky Callup over Studio City. I want to get right to their picture. You're looking at where they're at here. Well, stay with us. Still to come at 5 o'clock, a Buffalo Bills player on the mend after collapsing during Monday night football. The first thing he asked after waking up today. And stunning new information in the Idaho murder investigation. What the suspect left behind that may have led to his arrest. This is KCAL News, Los Angeles. Now to some positive news on the recovery of Buffalo Bills player DeMar Hamlin, who collapsed on the field and went into cardiac arrest during an NFL game. That game was Monday night football against the Cincinnati Bengals. Hamlin tonight remains in critical condition. KCAL's Bradley Blackburn reports that doctors are speaking for the first time about his condition, and they say the 24-year-old is showing lots of improvement. And minutes away on CBS 2 News at 6. This storm is moving out, but it's leaving behind some destruction and will have the impact across the Southland. KCAL News is sponsored by Jerome's Furniture. Southern California's best furniture selection. Infl well, here you go. You might want to use that 20% off Bed Bath & Beyond coupon if you have them. Yeah, the company says filing for bankruptcy is now a real possibility in response to its worsening financial situation. We're told its stock plunged 30% today alone to less than $2 a share. That is for the first time in the history of that company. In August, the chain said it would lay off about 20% of corporate employees and close 150 stores. Well, that's the news. Thank you so much for watching KCAL News at 5 on CBS Los Angeles. KCAL News at 6 on CBS Los Angeles with Pat Harvey starts right now.